Is the Sunset Ball Python gene an ugly, dead-end project? Why have I been making the same combo year after year with Sunset? We're gonna answer all these questions in today's video. <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Before we get into this video, which is gonna be all about the Sunset Ball Python project, where I see it going, where I don't see it going, I just wanna remind people US ARC is in dire need of our help right now, if never ever before. This year, for whatever reason, they're getting attacked from all sides. Not, not attacked, but there's legislation going in Florida, South Carolina, New York, now uh, Oregon, Illinois. And Illinois is where Tinley Park is. And if the stuff that's looking to pass in Illinois passes, could potentially kiss Tinley Park Reptile Expo goodbye. A link for US ARC is below. If you can't help out financially, you can at least go down and click on the thing and sign up for the newsletter so you know what's going on at all times with legislation around the country concerning keeping reptiles. Also, the relief fund for the folks in Texas is still up and running. There's some really cool stuff happening over there right now as far as um, things to bid on, so go check that out as well. Link's down below for that too. All right, let's make this happen. So I'm gonna kind of paraphrase this comment. It was a long one from Safe Heaven Caring Quality. Um, are you just gonna shoot for entry sunsets again next year? What direction or potential do you see this project going in? Um, or are entry sunsets the only combo you feel are worth making with the sunset gene? Do you believe other combos have the potential to look better than the entry sunsets? Or do you not think the other set combos are worth the investment of money of the price tag because of how brown, I guess I'm not paraphrasing, <laughs> or how brown and dull they end up looking when they mature out from the hatching stage. I've only seen you shoot for entry or cinnamon sunsets over the years and was curious of your opinion and direction for the future if you wanted to take this project and if you wanted to stay producing these particular combos and the reason why. And there's something very important I'd like to bring up about that comment at the end of the video. But first, disclaimer, I am not somebody who's been doing this for decades and decades. I do not consider myself to be an expert ball python breeder. Everything I'm about to share is my opinion, though it is an educated opinion. So it is definitely true that Sunset, along with many other base morphs of ball python, can potentially brown out. Well, actually all ball pythons start out looking much different as hatchlings than they do as adults. Uh, one of the genes that I've seen that really combats this is Desert Ghost. In fact, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea for somebody to try and work Desert Ghost into every single ball python combo morph they produce out there. I feel like Desert Ghost helps everything, always, every time, no exceptions. Not one that I've seen yet. Desert Ghost and Sunset is something I'm looking forward to seeing. I don't currently have that project going for myself, but I would like to. Now this guy I've got in my hands here is a animal that we just produced at the end of last season. And this is the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset combo. To date, I still think this is the most beautiful and vibrant looking combo of Sunset, which is partly why we keep producing them. That's not the only reason. I'll, I'll say the other reasons as well. The great thing about Sunset is that it is recessive. I think that's great because it takes longer to work it into projects. So you kind of root out the people that aren't willing to put in the time and effort and want to do something quickly. It's not quick because it's recessive. It also has that shade of orange and red that no other combo has really brought to the table yet. No other, no other gene has quite brought that same type of deep orange burnt type of look. Also at the same time, it has such a complete pattern changing effect, much like GHI. So a very powerful uh, combo, still a lot to be done with it. And I think the future of Sunset is going to lie in things, combos with Enchi which is definitely why I'm continuing to work Enchi. I think that there's many other people that will agree with me that Enchi and Sunset go together like peas and carrots. It's gorgeous. And the Enchi cinnamon helps really bring out more of that. I'm gonna put a picture right up here, one of the first ones I sold. Um, the, the only other Enchi cinnamon that I produced that I sold to Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons, he just sent me a picture the other day so we can get a little look at what this girl's looking like now. She's about to ovulate. The Enchi really just helps bring that out and, and help the animal keep it. So again, Desert Ghost I think is gonna be great to bring into it. But more than anything, I'd say double, triple, quadruple recessive projects are gonna be where you're gonna see Sunset going. I personally, my next thing that I'm working, besides just the NC cinnamons that I've been producing for the past few years, Sunset Clown Pied. I should be making triple hits uh, coming up soon here. Really looking forward to doing that. That's gonna be a long-term project. Again, I, 
I think I'll probably, and I've said this many times before, I'll probably have grandkids by the time I really get that project going. And Enchi, Clown Pied Sunset. A couple other jeans that I think work really well. Um, Brad and Boa produced a yellow belly sunset that just looks fantastic. One of the uh, criticisms I've heard of Sunset that is fully justified is that it doesn't have a huge contrast. You can see in this guy right here, he has very beautiful colors, yes. Uh, what he is kind of missing is that, that contrast, and that's what I think the cinnamon does kind of help bring some of it back, but I think something like Spot Nose would really do it. Yellow Belly Spot Nose and she Clown Pied Sunset. How about that? That's what I see as an end goal for this project that's not a dead end at all. It's gonna take a long time to get to for me personally. Now, right before I talk about why I haven't produced anything but Enchi Cinnamon Sunset combos for the past three years that I've been producing Sunsets, I wanted to talk about some of the other people out there that are working the Sunset project or have been for a long time. Of course, Brian Brachek brought the project in purchased the first animal out of Africa for about 75,000, I believe. Other people working with the project, Brad Boa and Brock Wagner, my buddy Justin Lathrop over at Family Jewels, Shane Kelly over at Small Town Exotics, my buddy Chase Baker at Designer Reptiles, Matt and Kayla over at Royal Authority, of course, Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons, and Justin Kabilka too is working with Sunset. And I'm very excited. I think that I can speak for many ball python breeders that are excited to see what uh, Justin is gonna do with Sunset over there because well, I mean, he's got a great track record for just producing things that people are looking forward to seeing what he does with it. And the fact that he's involved in the project is also a big deal to me because I don't think he works with anything that doesn't have potential. He hasn't proven that so far. <laughs> Everything I've seen him produce is just, well, I mean, let's, let's be honest, Justin put, puts a combo together and there's a certain gene in there that's making it work. Like all of a sudden, when he announces what that gene is, you go to Morph Market and it's like, that gene just tripled overnight, right? That happens, it happens. That's reality. So why have I just been making Enchi Cinnamon Sunset combos? Again, I do think it is the most beautiful combo made to date. Now that doesn't justify why I would only make that. So when I first got into the project, first of all, Brian saved my butt by sending me another animal when something, there's, there's all videos. I'll even link videos down below for Brian's videos on Sunset and basically every video that I can find on the internet about the Sunset Ball Python, I'm going to link it down below if you just wanna go into Sunset binge. There are a few reasons why. One of them was finances when I was when I was first doing it. So Brian, again, saved my butt. I, I may have just lost my ass on ball python breeding right in the beginning if it wasn't for that man and his kindness. He did step up, but even then, I got in a car accident. I had injuries. I wasn't working. And uh, rather than keeping and holding back the first visual males I produced, which I've been very fortunate to produce since, uh, visuals in every single pairing I've done, which have always been head to head. At that time, it made sense to get the money from that snake that, that he brought in, which was a, a lot, very helpful. Uh, very much wish I was able to keep that snake. However, made more sense not to at the time. And then the next season, everything I produced was females. So I didn't have a male to start working, you know, try and make a bunch of different hits with. And I, yeah, so there, <laughs> there's that too. And then this year I produced male and female visuals. And so this is the boy, this is finally the boy I'm keeping so that I can start making some 100% hits and start making those triple hits, double hits, all kinds of fun stuff. And the other thing is I, I've never, and I've, I've said this from the very beginning of it, and this has held true for me in, in my ball python breeding adventure, is that I always wanted to start slow, not have a whole bunch of clutches right off the bat, not purchase breeder females, just work slow and slowly, slowly build up. Just take it slow. I'm not I'm not in a race here. It's it, it can be very easy in this ball python breeding hobby to want to try and keep up with everybody who's making some of the most incredible combos. I think it's more important just to do what you like to do. And a lot of people preach this and because there's truth to it, but I, I'm really practicing. I'm just doing my thing slowly, steadily, haven't really wavered too much from what my plans are in the, the long run. Of course, taking input based on what other combos are produced out there. Um, but I've pretty much stuck to my gun since I started. And that's where I'm at. Slowly but surely, we will get there. And my grandparents, my grandparents, myself as a grandparent, will get to share with my grandkids, look, this is what I've been shooting for this whole time. This right here. That's fun. Look at my hat. You guys seen this hat yet? I'm hoping that uh, this is gonna be available to more people soon. 
That is, is that not a sweet hat? I love this hat. I am super stoked on this hat right here. I digress. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it to this point, please whack that like button, give that like button a good fingering or the dislike button, whichever one you're feeling, but don't let them feel lonely down there. They need a little tickle. Okay, the last thing I wanted to mention, the way that the that comment that I made this video from, from Safe Haven Care and Quality, they ended their comment with this. I apologize if this comment is taken the wrong way. I was just trying to understand and see what you felt about the sunset project that you're in. I wouldn't have taken it the wrong way. I've gotten pretty good at just reading comments and being like taking it however I feel like taking it. However, just that one sentence took maybe a few seconds to type. I appreciated it. You know, it's text-based communication. I've been an advocate for what a crappy way it is to communicate. And just taking that time, just type that little bit. And it's like, you know what? I appreciate that. I'm gonna make a whole video just for you comment. And I may have done it anyways, but I just wanted to say that I appreciated it. And it's it's just one of those little tiny things that sometimes people don't really think about. But if you give it that little bit of thought and that little bit of effort, man, it can go a long way. So thank you for that. And thank you for inspiring me to make this video. If there's something you guys think I left out, which I'm sure I did, I think I leave something out every time I do a video. I'm not reading from a script here. I'm going from the top of my brain right through my freaking mouth. So flaws occur. Leave a comment down below if there's something you'd like to add to the conversation about Sunset Ball Pythons. I'd love to have a conversation down there with you guys about it. And you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Aloha. Thank you for watching the video. Love you guys. Peace.